as light streamers, you know that it's incredibly important to be able to share your screen, whether it's an image, a video, or a live screen that you're actually showing action on while you're in the middle of your live stream. Now, I love doing this through Restream because it is so incredibly simple to do it. In fact, it's one click. So let's take a look at how to do it inside the program. There are lots of other programs that you can use to do this as well, and I will link all of those below with extended free trials and some bonuses as well. Now, inside of the Restream platform, it is incredibly simple. You're just gonna look down here on this toolbar, and there is a button to click for screen sharing. You then have the ability to screen share an entire screen, one of your windows, so you can pick one, or a Chrome tab. I'm gonna go ahead and click on window and I'm gonna share my Photoshop screen just so you can see what this looks like. Now, with Restream, there are multiple layouts so you can kind of change what you want and it will move location. And the best part is you can actually grab one image and just drag it over to the other block so that you can swap them. So let's say we've got small and big on your screen and you wanna show one thing off bigger and one thing off smaller. Just change the layout, grab that image, and just drag and drop it to the correct place where it makes the most sense for you to have that on screen. And again, you have the ability to then switch these things around so that it makes the most sense for whatever it is that you're showing. And you can do this over and over in the middle of your live stream. It doesn't just have to be a one and done. But wait, there's more because you can also customize your background and your overlays to make sense with whatever it is that you are speaking about at that given time. So if you go over to the graphics, you're gonna scroll down and be able to then change that background so that it matches your branding. You can upload your own as well, but they've got some pre-programmed in here. They even have some video ones as well. So you can have that moving animation on the screen as well, but make sure it works with what you are talking about. So you don't want it to overtake the process of what you're creating. So slower is always better, especially if you're importing your own movies here. Now let's just go ahead and pop this one on as a solid background and we're gonna scroll up to our overlays, at which point I can pop on whichever overlay makes the most sense. So let's say we are going side by side and I want an overlay like this, or maybe I want something that's a little more simplistic. Maybe I want something that's solid colored and shows up a little bit more. Perhaps I want to place a product down in the corner here. I can do whatever I want just by adding that overlay inside of my live stream. And again, I have the ability to have multiple things on screen. So more than two, you can have multiple things on screen and just change them as you need to go. You can then, if you're showing something like a video, you also have the ability to take that music off or that sound off so it's only you or if you want to play something and not have yourself heard you can actually go ahead and hit that microphone button and that will mute you so that you don't accidentally speak over whatever it is that you are showing. Now there are multiple ways you can do this in multiple locations, so I have linked all of these down below for you. I do highly recommend Restream. It is so easy to rearrange things on screen. It gives you the most flexibility that I've seen out there right now. So I highly recommend going with that one. I've got a 30 day free trial and extended 30 day free trial for you linked down below, but I've also linked up BeLive and some of the other platforms as well, where we have extended free trials and percentages off so you can see what's going to be the best fit for you. And I'll also link down my tutorials so you can decide which one is going to be the most purposeful for what you're creating in your live stream. If you've got questions, make sure you hit me up down below and subscribe to this channel and to our live stream action plan channel where we're really drilling down on how you can level up your live stream. So social media help here in the all of the senses and live stream specific help over on the live stream action page or our live stream action plan page i will see you over there for more fun and right here for our next videos we continue to level up your social media to create more profit through your smart social media marketing